Now we have the table assembly. We've got the top, the two side aprons, the legs. We switch back to OpenGL. So the first thing we want to do is extrude all our objects. So we could do this with push-pull or the extrude command, which I'm going to do. They're all three quarters of an inch, so I can select them all at once, model or command E, and I'll extrude them three quarters of an inch. These will be extruded as a group, so I have to ungroup them, command U, so that I can deal with each one individually. Now, there are lots of ways you can do this, but let's see. So part of the, the challenge here is we need to rotate things where they're going to go. So this is a plan view, but when we switch to a front view, There's my front view. I need to rotate this down. So I can use the rotate tool or the rotate command. There we go. That's more like it. And then this one here, I need to plop that one down as well. So I need to switch to a view that's going to allow me to do that. So I'll switch to that view and select it and Turn on snap to angle. All right, so those are, are placed where we want them. So I'm going to take the, the lazy way out here. I'm going to move one of my feet. It's pointing in the right direction. And I'm going to move my my apron over here. I'll move this one out of the way. And I'm going to move it up and I'll grab it by its corner and snap it. I'll turn snap to object on so I can actually use those corner points to help me snap. And I'm going to double check my my length here. five and a half and let's see I think I might have moved the wrong leg over alright that's only five so this is important this has to be five and a half so this was a leg that I drew beforehand um, to the wrong size but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use scale objects that same command that we use to import our PDFs and I know that I want from this distance to this distance to be five and a half. So I'm just going to scale that up a little bit. No harm, no foul. Uh, ideally, you would have drawn it correctly the, per the right size the way we did in, in our example. Um, this was just from an old example that I had my leg left in here. So I'm going to, that looks a little better. I'll select my leg. Well, I'll double check that I'm, well, I'm not exactly lined up here. I want these to be aligned by their center. So I'm going to select them both and choose Modify, Align, Distribute, and I want to align them by their centers. That looks a little bit better. There it is. There's a lot going on in the drawing here. Let's see. There we go. I'll just keep flipping around until I find the view that works. Now I can use the mirror tool. I can do this in any view. I'll do it from an end view. I can use the middle point of my, my leg there, and that looks, or excuse me, of the apron, to get my legs where I want them. I can now pick up my object here. That time I snapped it to the midpoint. And now I can select these two. I could group these three if I wanted to, or I could just select them all and use the midpoint there and duplicate them over there 
And then the last thing I need to do is duplicate this one. Let's see if I can find a, a midpoint. There we go. Just using those smart points. Ah, I missed it there. So I can either redo it or I'm going to zoom in. I could use the align tool again, or I could just pick up the midpoint and snap it to the midpoint. So I showed you a couple of different ways to line stuff up. Ah, so what happened there? I forgot to move these up to their correct height. So I'm going to select them both. And they're both selected. I can drag them up and snap them in place. So my exercise there was to make sure that I kept looking around in all different views. The last thing I need to do is move this into position. And before I do that, that actually looks pretty good. I'm going to move this out of the way. At this point, I'm going to group these. Select them all, Command G, because what that's going to allow me to do is line up the centers. Groups have a center. Objects have a center. I can select everything now, which is just a group and my object, and choose Modify, Align, Align, Distribute. And this time, I want to align by both centers. And then the last thing I need to do is lift, lift this up. Oops except I want to make sure I just have the top. Now, if I knew the height, if I'd looked in the plans, actually, I could enter in the bottom Z, but whatever that was, 19 and 3 eighths, was that right? Close enough. I'll move it up a little bit more. Let's see what it was. 19 and 7 eighths. I could have entered it right in bottom Z, or it's easy enough just to lift it up into place. Look at it in OpenGL, which looks kind of raggedy. Notice the uh, the curves are segmented. It looks kind of raggedy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to render in Final Quality RenderWorks. And Final Quality RenderWorks will really smooth things out. The last thing I want to do is I want to put a little bit of an edge detail. This is a 3D object, so I have to use the Fillet Edge tool. And let's see what a quarter inch looks like. I can choose Select Faces. I'll choose that face and click OK. And I've rounded over the, the top. Let's see if I can rotate around so I can get to the bottom there. Fillet Edge, that face. back to a, a view and I've got a pretty nice looking table with a top with an edge detail, aprons with the scalloping on the bottom, and cabriole legs.